so <laughs> so I want to make this video and um, I'm so excited about making this video I love making videos I love um, I just love that we can like first of all can we be thankful for a minute that we get to live in the country the best country in the world the United States of America those of us who live here can we just be thankful for that that we can actually just like sit here and just talk about whatever we want and, po and post it and um, you know of course we are dealing with idiot communists who own the social media companies big tech big tech platforms that listen and have AI technology to censor or remove people that they deem threaten their existence well their existence is an evil existence and we do not wish to live in evil we also do not wish to live in slavery or oppression this is America it was fought for it was fought for it was fought for to be to it was fought for to exist it was fought for to to survive to continue existing it was fought for to keep alive and it is alive and we will not stop fighting for it so if you have a problem with people who defend America then be my guest to meet us because we'll take care of you <laughs> we'll take care of you really good we'll, we'll, um, we'll take you out to a nice dinner and it'll be so nice <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway I didn't even mean to like set out to like make a political to have a um, to have a political beginning but anyway what I want to talk about is this hopefully you can see my door from here can you see that there Star Wars because Star Wars is awesome and Star Wars is so amazing anyway um so okay so here's the deal this is what I want to talk about so um first of all if you've seen Revenge of the Sith this will make sense to you if you haven't then sorry <laughs> you, you should watch it because it's really good um so here's what I think so and this is to all of you guys who've seen the Revenge of the Sith right Star Wars episode 3 from 2005 awesome 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 amazing movie one of a kind favorite 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 anyway so here's the thing right so um and if you haven't seen it, don't watch this video. Watch it before you listen to what I'm going to say about it, okay? I mean, unless you just, like, YOLO and you just don't care, you know? Just, hey, you know what? Actually, YOLO. Live your life. <laughs> just live your life. Um, so, here's what I wanted to say. So, uh, okay. So, you know how sad the Revenge of the Sith is, right? It's so sad, right? You see... Anakin succumb to the dark side and like so many horrible things happen right it's so sad and you know it's just so frustrating to even think about just even think about it. it's frustrating it's just to comprehend all the <laughs> to comprehend the Jedi getting killed is just really 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 sad and I hate I hate it <laughs> see the whole situation makes you become a Sith right no <laughs> Um, here's what I want to say. So, you know, it's super sad. Like, so many Jedi get killed. Most of the Jedis get killed. It's so, so freaking sad. Like, who saw that coming, right? I mean, it had to, to make sense. But still, it's like, that's so freaking sad. But anyway, what I want to say is this. Okay. Before I say it, I want to, I want to mention something to you guys. So, there's this really cool channel I found on YouTube check it out I want to refer you guys to this channel um so and stick with me because I'm a good guy right and you can trust me so um 
when you hear about what I'm going to say, you don't have to jump to crazy conclusions, etc. Anyway, this guy's YouTube channel is called The Vile Eye. V I L E I E Y E. The Vile Eye. That's what his channel is called. Anyway, he makes some really cool videos exposing, not exposing, but um, explaining and exploring the nature of evil characters in movies and stuff. Anyway, he's got a really amazing video on Palpatine that I can't wait to watch again. And a really awesome video on Darth Vader. All the Star Wars villain, villains, mostly. The main ones. And so, that... I want to recommend his channel to you. Check his channel out, The Vile Eye. He's got some really interesting videos. But, um... The other thing is... I want to... Explain that that's where I got the inspiration for this video. And, um... So what I wanted to say about this is, is this. So, when Mace Windu gets, <laughs> spoil alerts like crazy, when Mace Windu gets killed, it's just so freaking unbelievable. It's so crazy. I can't stand it. I hate it so much. It's ridiculous. But anyway, he gets killed, right? And it's so, so, so sucky. It sucks so freaking much, right? Because Palpatine just, oh my gosh, his heart was just ridiculous, 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 ridiculous. And of course, something horrible becomes something good for something for someone evil. And makes someone good want to become more evil because of how horrible what they just did was. It's terrible. Anyway, so... Um... While you're watching the Revenge of the Sith, you see how the the Jedi are falling. You see how the Sith, you see how Palpatine is just like, you just see this like, it's this massive unveiling. The entire movie is this massive, it's an unveiling and it's the realization of evil that Palpatine is and that Anakin is, is becoming. And it is just so, so sad. But the thing is, so you watch all this stuff happen, you're like, gosh, this is ridiculous. Kit Fisto, he's dead. The other two Jedis, they're dead in milliseconds. And then you go, Mace Window? Like, dude, what happened to Mace Window? He, he doesn't die, does he? Oh, yeah, he dies. So freaking sad. It's just hard for me to even comprehend that still. It's crazy when you watch something happen and your mind doesn't even process it for years. And, um... But anyway, the point that I wanted to make was that you see all these horrible things happening. You see the things that Palpatine's doing. You see the things that... And then you see the same things that Anakin does. And they're just ridiculous as well. Beyond ridiculous, right? So, um, you see all this stuff happening. And you see... Um, you see Mace Windu get killed. You see his arm cut off. And then, you see, and then you see him get electrocuted and shot out the window by electrocution. Just ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. And beforehand, you have Mace Windu. He's like this amazing, amazing, amazing Jedi. An amazing Jedi. So amazing. And he has the Force. He has humility. He has control. He has his own style. He's, he has, he has an insane amount of wisdom, and all of these traits, all the good traits of all the good guys, just get completely just taken advantage of and exposed, and they all get tricked by Palpatine, because he's so evil. And anyway, what I'm getting at is, so you know how awesome Mace Window is? And then he gets killed, and he gets shot out the window. It's ridiculous. It's like, oh my gosh, well, hey, you know what? That's that. Dude's dead. That's it. He's dead. You're like, well, you know. I really like that guy. You know, he's dead. That's crazy. Um, but what I want to say, the whole point of making this video is to say this. That is how I saw it, and that's what I felt. I'm just like, this is ridiculous, no freaking Palpatine, man, what a, what a freaking moron, man, you had to kill everybody, this is ridiculous, this is ridiculous, and 
But here's the thing, right? What does Yoda tell Anakin when Anakin's freaking out, having a nervous breakdown because he keeps having dreams about Padme dying? What does Yoda tell him? He says, train yourself to let go of the ones you fear to lose, right? And then he says, don't be sad when people die. Don't be sad. Re and he says, which is super great advice. And then he says, rejoice for those who transform into the force, right? So when people die, they transform into the force, okay? So what does that mean? It's really awesome, right? What does that mean? That's a really good question. So we know from seeing Qui-Gon, okay, first off, first off, we know from seeing A New Hope that Obi-Wan transformed into the Force, right? He talked to Luke after he died. After he physically died. That's the more, That's one of the most more important things to differentiate here um, in this movie, in Star Wars, and in life, okay? Because, let's face it, guys, we all know the truth here, right? And if you don't, then you're about to know. If you don't know what I'm about to tell you, you're about to know, okay? That's all there is to it. So get ready, buckle up, and here's the thing. I love you guys, so I promise you what I'm about to tell you ain't going to be like Mace Window getting his arm cut off and shot out the window. <laughs> First of all, when we die, we die, right? But no, right? Because here's the thing. When we die, we don't die. We die, but we don't die. We don't die. That's the thing. Here's the thing. We don't die. Now, you're going to be like, what the world are you talking about? Well, when I say we don't die, I mean that. Exactly what I said. We don't die. Let that sink in. We don't die, bro. None of us die. Here's the thing. Our bodies die. That's it. Our bodies die. We don't die. Our bodies die. Think about that paradigm shift. So, and and that, I'll, I'll talk more about that later. But when 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 people die in Star Wars... They transform into the force. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to teach you guys how to look at the situation of Mace Windu dying without being completely just utterly betrayed. Because when I saw Mace Windu die, I was so freaking upset. I was like, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And of course, the whole time is happening. There more, many, so much more is happening at the same time. You're like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. This is this is this isn't just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is re complete. This is ridiculous. This is completely ridiculous. And um, but what I'm saying is this, right? This is what we miss, and why do we miss it? Because of the freaking emperor, right? And because of the empire, because of the empire, all of these evil div evil diversions happening that that think they are overshadowing the good they think they're what they think they're doing is they think they're they think that they're they think that they're they think that they're killing the jedi they think that they're killing they think that they're killing they think they are killing good now that's where they're wrong right because they never kill good right that first of all the bad guys never win ever ultimately and if you want to have more questions about that then just feel free to ask me so um because we can talk about it but here's the thing so palpatine thinks he's got it made he thinks he's got everything in the bag right he's like yeah i got my boy anakin here yeah man he freaking killed all you jokers <laughs> you know he's on my side now he ain't ever going back he ain't, he ain't ever going back, you guys. He, you guys are crazy. He ain't never going back. Well, spoiler alert, spoiler alert Palpatine. <laughs> he's, uh, he's making a round trip, bro. He's coming all the way back home. So, anyway, um, what I'm trying to say is this, okay? So, we see, we see Mace Windu get killed, and we're like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. He got killed. And then Palpatine's like, yeah, power, yeah, 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 all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. But guess what? Here's the thing. And this is the thing that, 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 this is the thing that the bad guys thought they were accomplishing. They thought that they were going to trick us into not 
being able to see this but this is where they're wrong because I'm telling you it right now and so I've already seen it so when I tell you you guys are gonna see it and then duh the bad guys didn't win so Mace Windu gets killed by 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 and by Anakin didn't kill Mace Windu let's just put that out there Anakin did not kill Mace Windu Palpatine did but and Palpatine could not have killed Mace Windu without Anakin's help. First of all, let's lay that down because nobody, nobody can, nobody can prove vice versa. Because here's the thing: what happened if Anakin didn't show up? Palpatine's freaking dead. That's it. Actually, he's probably not dead. Who knows what happens if Anakin didn't show up? That's a good question. Because maybe Mace Windu wouldn't have killed him. But anyway, when Anakin showed up, that was when everything happened. That was bad. Because he didn't listen to Mace Windu. What do you do when you don't follow orders? You jeopardize everything. I'm not saying you shouldn't disobey orders sometimes. Because sometimes you need to. But what I'm saying is... So Mace Windu gets killed. Palpatine is, is the dark the dark side is just when they, when they killed Mace Windu the dark side went from here to, to here off the chart and it was already there already which made it even worse right because they did everything in the shadows and now that they're doing horrible things and and it's in the light it's being seen and um so they think that they're winning all this stuff. So meanwhile, what I'm trying to explain is that there's this huge shadow being cast by the horrible things the dark side is doing. The Palpatine is doing, Anakin is doing. Anakin is now <laughs> he's involved. He's just freaking involved because because of because of what happened. It's so insane. But what I'm trying to say is this. So there's a shadow cast. Guess what? So what? Okay, you got a shadow? Great, so do I. So what? <laughs> um but here's the thing that the dark side thought they had covered. See, the dark side thought that they just covered this up forever because of the dark side. But that's where they're wrong. Mace Windu got killed. But then what happened when Mace Windu got killed? What happened to Mace Windu? This is the part where I told you you're going to see. He got transformed into the Force. Okay? So, let that sink in. Think about that. So what does that mean he got transformed into the Force? What does that mean? What does that mean? Think about that. Uh, does that mean that like all the Jedi's that died and got transformed in the, into the Force made the Force stronger? Did it mean that it made the Force stronger for all the good guys? Did it mean that it made the Force stronger for all the bad guys? Nope. Absolutely not. So just think about that. I thought that was so awesome. And um, because obviously what you do in life, um, what you do in this life is a reflection of what happens to you when your physical body dies, right? So that's why it's so important to be good and do a good job in life. Because you don't want to do a bunch of terrible things and then go to a terrible place, right? Why would you want to do that? Why in a million years would you do horrible things? Why? Because you're lost? Because you were disturbed? Okay, well, great. You were Okay, great. So you were lost and you were disturbed. And you did terrible things. Okay, great. Good job. You won an award for being a failure? Great, here you go. You don't get one because you're not a failure. Everybody makes mistakes, okay? Jesus died for them all. So we're all covered. <laughs> Sorry. Spoiler, spoiler alert there too. Anyway, so what I'm saying is that, and I'm saying that you have to look through the darkness to see the light sometimes. And what is Jesus? Jesus is the light that no darkness can hide. Right? Darkness can try to hide a lot of things. And it might even hide them successfully for a time period. But that's it, not eternity. And, um... So yeah, I just wanted to say that. I wanted to give you guys um, a better spin on the Revenge of the Sith. This video is getting a little too long, so. Um, 
Yeah, so when you guys watch it again and you see Mace Windu die, I want you to not get caught up in all the craziness and the sadness and the hatred and the anger and all that stuff. I want you guys to see what happened. See what happened in that movie. See Mace Windu get killed. And think about him becoming the Force. Think about him transforming into the Force. And then I want you to think about this. Think about Luke Skywalker. Okay? Dude was already a full grown adult and then became a Jedi. That's why people a lot of times are like, man, you know, Luke was so overpowered. You know, he didn't know anything, bro. Yeah, he had Skywalker blood. Yeah, he was Anakin Skywalker's, the chosen one's offspring. AKA, Luke was the chosen one. But, actually, he wasn't. Darth Vader was. But what did Luke do? He helped him. He helped Anakin slash Darth Vader fulfill his destiny as the Chosen One, complete the cycle, and end the Emperor, and end evil. Okay? Disney spinoffs don't count. They don't count. Sorry. You lose. Game over. You don't lose. You just don't count. In my book <laughs> of Star Wars. So, um, so yeah, think about that. Think about all the Jedis who died and went to the Force. It's just so sad, right, because they all died, right? But then think about what happened because of that. And, and and I guess you guys didn't think about this before, but, you know, Luke Skywalker, Yoda, all the Jedi, all the great Jedi, they had such a better, higher understanding at that point. In the original three movies, the first Star Wars movies that came out, the Jedi were so much higher than they were in the older ones, in the in the earlier ones, the the prequels. Because the Jedi had so much to learn. Think about that. Everybody nowadays, nowadays people are coming up with these theories that are like, Yeah, well, you know what? The Jedi were really the evil ones because they didn't do anything. No, the Jedi weren't evil. Like, what's wrong with you? Do you, do you do not, how long do you have to stare at something before you, before you look at something else? Like, the longer you stare at something, if you sit there and stare at a wall long enough, you might start to think that it's something else, okay? So, why don't you stop staring at the wall? That's good advice. <laughs> Don't stare at the wall anymore. Okay, how long do you have to look at something? It's just ridiculous. Stop looking at it so long. It doesn't. How long does it take to look at something? How long, Like seriously, how long does it take to look at something? You look at something long enough, you might start going crazy. And start coming to stupid conclusions like that. That the Jedi were bad guys because they actually did this. No, that's wrong. You're wrong. So, yeah, anyway. So when you see the Jedis die, all I want you to do is... Don't be sad about the Jedi's dying. Actually, you can be sad. Be sad all you want. But here's the thing. When the Jedi's died, they made the Force stronger. And they made it possible for Luke Skywalker to be Luke Skywalker. To have the Force. And to be able to use it the way he did. Right? Think about that. And then, you know, shoot. How many Force ghosts were there in the prequels? None, right? Freaking none. Find out that Qui-Gon mastered it. And that was the gateway, right? Because then all of a sudden, then you go to the original saga, and what do you have? You got Force Ghosts, Voluntary Suicide, <laughs> Obi-Wan, <laughs> and, um, but he wasn't committing suicide. He was taking the high, he was transforming himself into the Force. So amazing. And that happened in the first Star Wars, which is even so, is even so much more amazing. But, um, anyway, I just want to leave this guys with you and tell you that, you know, you're loved. And don't worry about things because it's going to be okay. And also, um, you know, when you see all these Jedi's getting killed, don't be sad that Jedi's are getting killed. Be happy because what did they do? They lived the highest life, the life of a Jedi. They did the best they could. And then what happened? They transformed into the Force. And then what happened? Luke Skywalker happened. That's what happened. Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker got Darth Vader to be a good guy again. Think about that. That's a big that's a big freaking deal. He didn't kill him. He convinced him to be a good guy. How good is that? That's the best possible ending. So love you guys. Don't be sad about Mace Swindle anymore. Unless you want to because you can because it's freaking brutal. But anyway, in the meantime, you shouldn't be sad about it. You should be happy. Because he did what he was supposed to do. Even though even though he died the way he did. He still did what he was supposed to do in living the life that he set out to live.